Protesters gathering in McAllen today. They were speaking out against what they say is poor treatment of immigrants. Thank you for joining us for CBS 4 News this weekend. I'm Chris Jacobs filling in for Mary Bell. Members of a local tribe also voicing their concern over construction of a border wall. The Carrizo Comecrudo tribe hosting the rally. CBS 4's Abril Preciado attended the event and tells us what they had to say. We are not illegal and we are not criminals. Words dozens chanted at El Encino Park Saturday as they joined the Carrizo Comecrudo tribe to take a stand on the government's response on the immigration issues at the border. Passions being shared here are a lot of the similar passions and um, worries that we have coming from the southernmost tribe in the southern Arizona. So we are also facing these same issues when it comes to being separated by a border wall. The Carrizo Comecrudo tribe is attempting to raise awareness on the issues that are not only impacting migrants, but impacting their tribe as well. This is just so we can tell them that we're all about, about the inherent rights to migrate, the inherent rights to our lands and be able to, to sit here and say we need to do this, this is important. As plans of the border wall move forward, Juan Mancia's tribal chair of the Carrizo Comecrudo says the U.S. government is going against the union declaration that indigenous rights need to be respected and honored. This is the only state that, that where, the, where the actual border uh, wall or whatever, you know, that shameful thing they want to put up is not on the actual border because the border would, would go against, you know, the Guadalupe Hidalgo Treaty with Mexico. And this, and this is one of the things that, 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 that that's the whole struggle. A rally that not only brought several tribal members together, but also received the attention of politicians like North Dakota Representative Ruth Buffalo, who is of indigenous background. She says the humanitarian crisis along the border hits close to home and hopes there's an end to it. So we really need to stand by our country's true mission of welcoming uh, people, especially our relatives who are seeking asylum. Um, there's no reason why families should be se separated. In McAllen with complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS 4 Valley Tonight. And just recently, the North Dakota State Legislature Assembly passed a resolution urging President Trump to fund the wall. Representative Ruth Buffalo says she's the, one of the few voices who opposed it.